Hello family and friends. I have a new project to show you. It's a hanky quilt made from some of my husband's grandma's hankies and some from estate sales. After folding the hankies into butterflies and dresses, I traced them on fusible web and cut the web to be just a little smaller than the hanky so I could avoid a sticky iron. The video I watched to fold the hankies into dresses and another one in butterflies is in the description box below. After ironing the muslin blocks, which I made all the same size, 12 and a half inches, I centered the hankies on the diagonal as best I could and ironed them to the blocks. The next step was using the blanket stitch to attach the hankies to the blocks permanently. I used a whole 150 yard spool of invisible thread. Here's a close-up of my machine sewing the blanket stitch. Butterflies have a head and antenna. I hand sewed all 10 of them. It took a while, but I think it was worth it. I am now cutting these two and a half inch wide sashing strips into 12 and a half inches. I need 20 of them. There's two. The sashing goes on different sides depending on which block it is. On the first block, it's on the left side and the bottom. On the second block, it's on the top and on the right. It might be easier to see it on the second row, which is opposite of the first row. It's on the bottom and the right of the first block. The second block is on the top and the right. 
third block is left and right, fourth block is top and right. So all the squares are sewn together in an up-down, kind of like a zigzag pattern. Now I have to decide what I'm going to use for the sashing around the edges, around here, around the side, top. And that side. But first, I have to iron it. Making progress. I decided to do a five inch border of the same blue material instead of more sashing. So the quilt top is finished. It's all sewn together. And I have made my sandwich and I'm now quilting using my walking foot. I used safety pins to pin it together. They're about a fist's width apart. I'm hoping that it works. So I don't have a lot of uh, puckers. I've tried this before without success, but we'll see. And I pinned my pins too close to the seam, so I'm having to unpin some of them because I am just going to stitch in the ditch. I'll let you know. I'll show you what it looks like when I'm done with the quilting part of it. I stitched in the ditch vertically only as I don't want puckers at the horizontal joins. Since I have a baby lock, Elissimo embroidery machine, I put it to good use on the horizontal quilting. It's so satisfying to watch it do the work. Hmm, sorry about the blurry image there. It'll back out in a second. That's better. I used different color butterflies for each of the 20 horizontal strips. Time to attach the binding to the front. I cut and sewed two and a half inch binding strips, ironed it in half, and then in quarters. I will hand stitch it to the back. I'm on the final step of completing this hanky quilt. I'm hand sewing the binding on. I already did the front. So now I'm hand sewing the back. To me, this is the most satisfying and relaxing part of the project, knowing that soon this will be a completed project. I can use this time to think, to meditate on God's Word, to put some worship music on, to listen to a teaching tape, watch a TV show, so many different things that I can do while I'm finishing this.
today I've decided that I'm going to meditate. I've been reading first and second Peter in the New Living Translation. And uh, Second Peter chapter two, no, chapter one, verse two it talks about the grace of God. And I always heard that the grace of God was the unmerited favor of God or God's riches at Christ's expense. I've heard those. But this time I remember doing a study a long time ago on grace and how grace, Paul said, it was an enabling. It was the power to enable him to do what he was called to do. I found it, that scripture reference in 1 Corinthians 3.10 in the Amplified Bible. And it says, according to the grace, the special endowment for my task of God bestowed on me. The special endowment. One. And. Two. And it's finally done. Make my knot. Done. Yahoo. The binding is done. Only part left is to cut off all the little thread pieces. Yay! It's finished, my hanky quilt. The binding's on. See you next time. Thanks for watching.